Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 23rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we will be talking about the like operator and we have seen, we've seen the like operator once when we uh, had the tutorial on logical operators I mentioned it and we also saw a couple of applications of it in the MySQL environment but you know I thought that there should be one separate tutorial on the like operator and the wildcard characters that are associated with the like operator so here is it and uh, the like operator as you guys know is used to compare a value to similar values in a table in a database and what I mean by this is uh, if you have some value that you want to place in your uh, where clause and uh, you want to compare that value with the values that are present in you know your table in the database then uh, you would have to use a like operator to make such comparisons and uh, the like operator is used with wildcard characters and uh, there are two wildcard characters that you can use the first one is the percentage symbol and the second one is the underscore character the percentage symbol is a uh, substitution for zero one or many characters whereas the underscore character stands for uh, one character or number and uh, the syntax of the like operator is pretty simple you've got your select keyword first and then column list and then uh, from keyword and the name of the table from which you are pulling your data and then uh, an optional where clause through which uh, you would you know make the comparison using the like operator right and uh, even if you are making comparisons between numeric values you have to place uh, your values within single quotes and uh, this is different because when we use the assignment operator to make direct comparisons or equality tests we do not put our uh, numeric values within single quotes but when we are using the like operator even if you are making comparisons between numbers you have to make sure that the values that are there in the where clause are between single quotes and this would be clear when we check out examples uh, in the MySQL environment so uh, let's uh, check out a few examples so I've got my workbench here and uh, just as we have in the past tutorials we are going to work with the employee table in the test database and uh, let me show you guys the data that I have in the table at the moment so to show the data I would uh, execute the select star query name of the table is employee semicolon when I press control enter I see that I have uh, 17 records in the table the first row has the value of uh, the ID field as 1900 and the last row has uh, the value 1960 so in total there are 17 uh, fields in the table and uh, the last uh, record well it wasn't present in the table uh, till this tutorial I added this row to this uh, table uh, you know for the sake of this tutorial because I wanted one employee to have uh, his or her email account on hotmail right and uh, you'll understand why I did that in just a minute so you know let's start with this in fact you know suppose I want to find out the you know name or in fact all the information about the employee who's got uh, you know his or her email address uh, at hotmail then the query for that would be I'll type in select first right and uh, then I'll put in the asterisk symbol because I want to pull out all information and then the name of the table uh, after the from keyword which is employee and then uh, type in where and then uh, you know since I want the comparison to be made you know with the value that's there in the email field I'll type in email here first right and uh, then I'll type in the like keyword because I would have to use the like operator to make the comparison between the value that's there and the, the value that I'm going to put within single quotes and uh, since you know I just want to know you know who has got his or her email address at hotmail I am not concerned with the initial part of the email address or the last part of the email address and the last part I know that after hotmail you know we're going to have uh, .com but you know I'll just type in hotmail here and I'll put in a percentage uh, character after hotmail and I'll put in a percentage character before hotmail so what this is going to do is it's going to instruct SQL that get me all the records you know we don't care what the first part of the email address is and what the last part of the email address is we just want to make sure that you know the word hotmail is there in the email address I put in a semicolon at the end to terminate the statement when I execute it I see that I've got just one employee in the table who uh, has you know his email address uh, registered at hotmail so the name of the employee is Joe and the ID is 1916 this is the row that I added right and uh, let's say you want to also find out you know uh, all the employees uh, who are in their 20s right so 
since in this case we would be working with the age column I'll replace uh, email with age and uh, you know since you want to know employees who are greater than 20 years old and less than 30 years old you know we can use the or and logical operators to you know uh, generate this uh, you know condition but if you want to use uh, the like operator then what you're going to do is within single quotes you'll put in two and then you'll put an underscore character after two so the underscore characters I mentioned when we were looking through the PowerPoint that the underscore character substitutes one character or number so in this case it's a substitution for one number so we don't care what the value after two is if it's 21 or 22 or 23 or 29 but the first digit in the age has to be two so as long as the first digit is two you know the row is going to be displayed in the result set so when I execute this query I see that all these employees have their age uh, in 20 so John is 26 years old Nick is 25 Dave is 27 Mike is 21 so on and so forth and uh, the last example that we're going to check out in this example we'll use the underscore character as well as the percentage symbol so suppose you want to find out uh, you know information about employees you know who have uh, O the alphabet O as the second character in their names right so uh, it's obvious we'll be working with the name field and I'll type in the like keyword and uh, then within single quotes the value in which I'm going to make my comparisons is going to be I'll put in the underscore character first then the alphabet O and then the percentage symbol so what this is going to do is it's going to instruct SQL that the first character in the name could be anything right it could be P S P U W whatever the second alphabet or the second character has to be the alphabet O and the rest of the name could also have as many characters or you know whatever characters so uh, we're not concerned about the last part of the name or the first character of the name but we're concerned about the second alphabet which has to be O right I'll put in a semicolon when I execute this query I see that I get all these names in the result set so John you know you can see that John's uh, name has O as the second character Roger's name has O as the second character Howard's name has O as the second character so so on and so forth so you know that's it about the like operator I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial